Oh, wait a minute. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Amy. I know, don't I look kind of silly with these headphones on? But we are going live here in a few minutes. Amy Roloff, the matriarch of Little People Big World, recently engaged in an intimate and revealing conversation during an Instagram live session with her close friend Lisa Dixon. Opening up about her journey to parenthood, Amy shared the significant challenges she faced along the way. In this candid discussion, Amy disclosed that she battled illness during her childhood, leaving her wondering if it played a role in her subsequent struggles with infertility. This is a topic that Amy has rarely spoken about publicly before, making her candidness during the live session even more impactful. You know, um, I had, uh, uh, I had a child, I, I was ill as a child for a number of years, and I'm not sure if that played into some of my infertility or, or why I didn't have like a regular cycle, and, you know, and people, there's a lot of people that can, you know, chart it on the calendar. Man, they know, boo, you know, we're going to plan on, you know, get me getting pregnant this month or something like that. Recounting her experiences, Amy explained that her irregular menstrual cycle made it difficult for her and her former husband, Matt Roloff, to conceive. In addition, the unpredictability of her monthly process posed a unique hurdle on their path to starting a family. Amy and Matt persevered through years of trying to conceive, ultimately finding success and becoming parents to four children. On Mother's Day, Amy enjoyed spending time with her children, Molly, Jacob, Jeremy, and Zach. Seeking medical intervention, Amy underwent fertility treatments that increased the likelihood of multiple pregnancies. However, the prospect of carrying more than one baby simultaneously brought forth fears and anxieties, particularly considering her stature as a little person. Expressing her concerns during the Instagram session, Amy openly questioned her ability to carry multiple babies. She wondered if her body could handle the physical demands of such a pregnancy. Despite her worries, fate blessed Amy with twin sons, Jeremy, of average height, and Zach, who was born with dwarfism. Upon discovering she was expecting twins, Amy embraced a positive mindset, affirming her belief in her body's strength and resilience. She wholeheartedly trusted her ability to navigate this extraordinary journey of motherhood. Following the birth of her twin boys via C-section, Amy confided in Lisa, revealing a sense of isolation and loneliness during that period. Having recently moved to Oregon with her family, she found herself grappling with the challenges of caring for two newborns without the immediate support of her husband. And I think with the thing for me having twins, I felt like uh, um, there was no one for me to fall back on. My mom wasn't here. They were in Michigan. I didn't have any friends here because we had just moved to Oregon. And so I was like, it's, you just rise to the occasion. I mean, I was, you know, by myself. In this vulnerable moment, Amy shed light on her ex spouses absence during a crucial time of their lives. She shared that Matt had work commitments that necessitated his absence, leaving her to handle the demanding task of caring for their newborns alone. You know, that's a lot to take on when you're having twins and it's just you and Matt had to go to work and, you know, all of this other stuff. So I, I just, yeah. While Amy did not delve into specific details during the Q&A session, she has sometimes expressed grievances and shared negative sentiments about her ex-husband, Matt. Amy previously accused Matt of infidelity, alluding to the challenges that arise when one partner begins pursuing other relationships before the marriage has formally ended. In a promotional interview for her book in 2019, Amy revealed her perspective on the matter, expressing the difficulty of navigating a situation where a friendship evolves into a more significant relationship before the marriage's dissolution. Although she did not mention Karen Chandler, who worked on Roloff Farms and later began dating Matt, Amy implied that the presence of a third party had strained their marriage. Despite the trials and tribulations, Amy's journey to motherhood serves as a testament to her strength and resilience. In August 2021, she married Chris Merrick, and just a few weeks ago, both Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler announced their engagement. 
life moves forward, and Amy's candidness allows others to find solace and inspiration in her story, reminding us all that even amidst struggles, love, growth, and happiness can prevail.